Hey everyone, welcome to the first of my Salmon Run tip series. If you want tips for Splat Zone, Rainmaker, Tower Control, or just general tips for Splatoon, you can check them out in the video description below. Anyway, let's get started. Number 1. Ink the walls. It goes without saying you should ink the ground before the wave starts, but you should also ink the walls too. You don't want to be stuck in the situation where you don't have an easy escape route. In this clip, if I didn't ink the wall, I would actually have to wait for the elevator to come back down. What about this situation? If I didn't ink this wall beforehand, I wouldn't have been able to ninja the bosses. I would have been flat as a squid pancake. And of course, you can use the wall as an easy route to score a point. Number 2. Grab an egg when you're splatted. When you're splatted, you become invincible. Use this to pick up any eggs that are nearby and then swim back to your teammates so they can revive you with the egg already on your back. Number 3. Let them come to you. Let the enemies and bosses come to you and the basket. There is less travel time for you to bring the eggs back if you kill them when they're closer to the basket. Take a look at this clip. I deliberately let the boss get closer to the basket before I splat it. And as a result, the eggs are right there near the basket. Number 4. Fight them at choke points. If you don't know what choke points are, this is any area where the enemies have to come to you one by one because the path they take is so narrow. So use this to your advantage and easily take them out. Like, I don't know why my teammate Zoo is all the way in the front over there. He got sworn from all sides and was splatted because of it. Now if he had stayed here with us and take these dudes out first, then he would have been able to go in there without any issues. Number 5. Guard the eggs. If for some reason you do kill them at the shore, guard any eggs you can't pick up to prevent the salmonids from stealing them and tell your teammates to come back for them. These are pretty much free points so your teammates should come back for these. Anyway, that's it for now. If you find this information useful to other players, please share it because there are players who do not do these things and they can definitely benefit from these. Okay, I'm done. Love you all. Bye.